The Commitment 2014 News. Two huge races in Georgia are getting national attention. The Senate and the governor's race have a lot of money pouring in. WYFF News 4's Nigel Robertson has more from the Clemson University Social Media Listening Center. Early voting has already begun in Georgia, and there is a lot of discussion on social media, not just for early voting, but also because of that Senate race and the governor's race. In the Senate race, Democrat Michelle Nunn is facing off against Republican David Perdue. And in the governor's race, we have Nathan Deal, the Republican, facing off against Democrat Jason Carter. Carter, the grandson of former President Jimmy Carter, who was just in Georgia trying to help. You would think that it would show up something positive. It's a huge endorsement to have your grandfather, a past president, be a part of your campaign and to be present with you in the things that you're doing. But overall, what we've seen that has actually had more of a negative impact on what people are saying. Students at the Clemson University Social Media Listening Center used this technology, which digs into social media activity, to look at a number of things. One question, who is benefiting from the early voting? It looks like right now the younger votes and the Democrats are at least are coming out. What we found is that um, Michelle Nunn is actually leading in early voting, and therefore Washington, D.C. Democrats have pumped in another or $1 million to her campaign. That's paid media. What about social? Michelle Nunn on Twitter and Facebook isn't necessarily pushing towards early voting. David Perdue is, and it doesn't seem to be helping him out that much. And of course, as time goes on, things will continue to change. At the Social Media Center at Clemson University, I'm Nigel Robertson.